A pickup video of the Retro Gamescon in Schiedam and I picked up some really unusual stuff, at least for me. So let's take it away. Hello guys, welcome to a new video of the Bit by Bit Gamer Show and in this video the pickups of the Retro Gamescon in Schiedam, the Netherlands. I picked up a Super Monaco Grand Prix and I picked this not up for the game, um, but I picked it up for the case and I hope to, uh, it, uh, regretfully, it's a, it's a Genesis, so it isn't the European version of, uh, of the Mega Drive uh, that I have to resell that, but I have the case for that. Um, um, same thing with uh, Super Monaco, uh, this is the first game, that was the second game. Um, the, the case, I didn't see that, it's a pretty beat up, uh, so I would sell it for, for a cheap, regretfully. Um, those were at $2.50 a piece, so that is, that is really cheap. Uh, also for the Menacer, uh, the six game cartridge, yeah, of course you can't do anything with that. Without the Manacer, I don't have the Manacer. I don't have a CRT TV uh, that will come in the future, but I will resell this because I, I picked it up for the case. What I also picked up <laughs> was uh, 688 sub attack sub. Oh yeah, it's it's yeah, it's a kind of strategy game, but it's it's very boring. It's it's just as bad as you might expect. Uh, but again, it was two euro fifty. So for that, just to complete my collection, that's okay. Um, I picked up also for two euro fifty uh, FIFA uh, ninety six. Um, yeah, just to have it. That's why I bought it. Uh, two euro fifty. Uh, but um, I picked uh, the another Manager uh, game up uh, again. Uh, but this, look at this. The shape of the box that's why I bought it again 2 euro 50 um, more 2 euro 50 stuff yes super tennis yes and super tennis well yeah they 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 could have get rid of the super because they give away the super gives away that it is a bad title um, yeah the, the physics aren't even great of the game uh, the four in one game of the Game Gear version of tennis was better. Um, but again, for €2.50 and a, uh, a complete inbox, the, the state is okay. It's not, not mint, but near mint. €2.50. What also was €2.50? Uh, just to complete the collection, super kickoff. It's a, a soccer game for the Master System. Um, but, well, the physics aren't really that bad, I have to say. Uh, I, I, I took a look at it, of course, I'm not a, a football, not a soccer fan, but, well, it's, it's okay. Um, but I'm never gonna play it, but just to complete the collection. 2 euro 50, what also was 2 euro 50 was Super Thunderblade. But, uh, Super Thunderblade I had already, but I had it in a worse state than this one. Uh, this one is minty, 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 minty. Um, so I will sell off the game I had and this to uh, replace my game in my collection. What also was super cheap was, uh, took a look, uh, these controllers. Uh, this is a PlayStation controller and uh, I picked up two. Because I have a PlayStation and that thing that smells of smoke and that's really, um, really annoying. Um, so for two euro fifty, uh, well, you, you can't go very wrong with that. Uh, of course, those are not first party controllers, but um, just the uh, thought of n not uh, having to get a tetanus shot after playing my PlayStation is worth it. What also was two euro fifty were these two um, Genesis, uh, no, not Genesis, Super Nintendo controllers. Of course, not first party, but I have to say, well, it, it feels okay. It's not superb, but it feels okay. Um, two euro fifty. No, these were one euro, one euro per piece. 
uh, so you can't go very wrong with that. What also was your one euro were these NES controllers. Um, I, can, can, I don't have a NES and that is a little bit of a problem, but I have a Retron 5 and I wanted to connect them with a Retron 5 only. When I came home and I, I, I was so such in a rush to, uh, because people were digging in those crates to, uh, to get my one euro controller that I looked over the connection over that thing. Uh, this is not a um, NES controller, this is uh, the that NES Mini controller. I can't this, use this one, I hope to get a NES Mini in the future, but I picked this one up and this is a, a NES controller. Um, I played with it and in the first glance it's okay, but uh, regretfully, um, there's something wrong with uh, with the right uh, right direction. I picked up some extension cables for the GameCube. Always, I need to have that. Also, one euro per piece. And what I also picked up was Bubsy. I don't have Bubsy. I never played Bubsy for the Mega Drive. Um, yeah, it's it's a platformer. You are a cat and you have to do cat stuff and um, yeah you can, you can float that's typical typical cat stuff uh, you have to collect those fur ball no not fur balls um wool 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 balls um hmm, it's if i play if i would have played this as a kid i i think if i paid 120 guilders for that i would have played it but it's it's not the best platformer. It's not super bad, but it's not the best. What also was two euro fifty is this one. It's loose. I, I again I, I don't collect loose uh, cartridges, um, but uh, if I can find the box or uh, uh, whatever for two euro fifty, okay, then I'll collect the. Uh, boxless stuff but uh, I picked this up because here on here this is a six in one game this uh, with World Cup Italy, Italy um, uh, 90 Alien Storm, Super Monaco, uh, Super Thunder Blade, Super Hang On and Columns I picked this up for uh, Thunder, no, Alien Storm and that is a pretty fun uh, game it is a well a golden axe clone and if you really look close at it it's not even golden axe it's maybe uh streets of rage uh but with aliens uh, but okay the, the game is okay there are some elements in there that you can shoot uh, aliens in a store and that's a first person shooter perspective but nevertheless it's it's a it's a fun game it's not superb but it it, it is fun to play What I picked also up was Echo uh, without a case, also to, for €2.50. Euro I don't have Echo, so yeah, the, 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 the shape of the cartridge is, is, is okay. Yes, unusual. Um, I bought some unusual stuff for me because I don't collect Nintendo stuff. I don't have Nintendo computers, but I'd like to have uh, a Nintendo, Super Nintendo, uh, in a while, and, and I, 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 I'm not going for a complete collection, but I, I love to have some, some uh, Super, Super Nintendo games, and I picked up again for two euro fifty that I luckily can play on my Retron Five uh, is Tiny Toon Buster Busts Loose. It is a platformer game, um, but it, yeah, although the graphics are great, the music is good. Uh, the controls are are hmm, the graphics are good, colorful, um, but it's 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 missing something, and I can't put my finger on it. Uh, I had higher expectations of the game uh, because it was a Konami game.
I had also high expectations for the next two games and the first one is the Smurfs. It says Les Trumpf because we are uh, living in Europe and France is not that far away from here. Um, also 2 euro 50 you can't go wrong with that. It's a platformer game and it's the same platformer game as on the Mega Drive but I I don't get the game because you have to you start in a in the Smurfs village and the fellow Smurfs um, will will get you hit. I I I find that a little bit weird. Um, so it, it's not my type of game. It's not super bad, but it, it, it isn't great either. What is super bad is Smurfs 2. Oh, you would have thought that if they made this game, uh, they would at least make some improvements to a game. Well, this is far from an improvement. I played the game and, and it's, bo it's just boring. I, I haven't figured out what to do. Um, I think you have to collect sticks, uh, sparkly sticks. and. And you have to search and you the first level is in in trees and um it it's just not fun it's boring and i played both games with my girlfriend and she she found those games also boring um the buster bus lose was was okay uh, but not superb uh, but this this one is just plain bad but uh, I was apparently in the Smurf mood. I picked also up the Smurfs for the NES. And this game is fun. They recycled some elements from these games. I don't know which one came first, but uh, you have to collect the berries, for example, um, and, 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 and the leaves. That is the common denominator of, the, of these games. But the music of this game is better. This, this, is, this is bad. The music is just bad. The music of this game is also bad. But the music of this game is fun and the gameplay elements are fun. What I not really like about the game is the difficulty level ramps up really quickly. The first level is, is doable uh, and it's fun to play. The second one is uh, floating on, on tree lumps on a river. Fun also, uh, you have some, some, some variation on that. Number three is, uh, the, the, is the swamp and you have to jump on frog heads. And yeah, hmm, the third level isn't, isn't really fun, it's, it's annoying. Uh, but after that you have the uh, flying on a stork, that is fun. Uh, you have after that uh, a level in, in a cave with, with drops. That, that is, uh, it's difficult, but it's, it's fun to do. In the future, I want to have more uh, NES games, but again, um, I, I, I want to pick up uh, at least some Mario games and I want to pick up Chip and Dale. I, I really loved those games as a kid. Not on sale, but definitely some pickups worth mentioning. I picked up Chuck Rock for the Master System, and I had to say I had higher expectations of the game. Uh, they didn't even bother to to make a background in the game. The collision detection is somewhat weird. They didn't even bother to make the music for the game. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I, I played Chuck Rock 2 for the Game Gear. I had that game as a kid and, and I like that game. Uh, it's fun, the collision detection is definitely better than this one. Uh, there is some humor in the game, definitely, but the animations, uh, no. But the state of the game is, is, is mint. Um, and that, that, that is the thing that, that took me. Uh, by surprise, and that's why I wanted to have it. Chuck Rock was was on my on my list. What also was on my list were some 32x games, and the problem with 32x is that the games aren't that good, and they are expensive. And when games are shitty and expensive, that are that is a combination that doesn't work really well. 
But this game was uh, 20 euros, so for a 32x game, that is pretty cheap. But this one is in mint condition. There are some corner damages, but that's it. The inlay is minty. Um, I'm, I'm happy with that. The game isn't that great. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a motor racing game. Hmm. <laughs> Not my favorite. Then the next pickup is Super Highlight. And again, <sighs> disappointing pickup. Sometimes you take a risk and it doesn't work, uh, work out the way you want. And this is such a game. I bumped into it a couple of times and I wanted to pick up because it, it looked really fun. The backside looked really fun. I thought it was a strategy game, but it isn't, it is an RPG and that is not my thing. But the state of the game is is mint and I mean really new. If you, I hope you can see this, not a scratch on it. The manual is mint, the, the, uh, the label is mint. I, I love the state of this thing. Um, so, uh, although I'm not really gonna play it, I'm, I'm pretty happy to have a game in such a state. The state that I would have kept it in if I was a, a child and bought it new. The last pickup. The last pickup is my master system converter for the Game Gear. I have a master system converter, but that thing was always a little bit finicky. You have to stick it in and that works, not always. And that was a thing that it did from the start. And this was somewhat more of the more mainstream Game Gear converter. I bought this one because the price was reasonable and there was a box. And the thing itself, you, you can find this for 30 euros uh, lying around, but this thing is not new but it is mint. I hope you enjoyed the video for more pickups, for more things, for more knowledge about retro video games. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notifications. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!